Hey, it's Jenna Arsenal, wife, dog trainer, and entrepreneur. And I'm Jason Arsenal, former law enforcement officer, dog trainer, and owner of the best dog training company in the world. So today we want to get on here. I want to... Why do I keep doing that? It's like... You want to jump on? I want to jump on. Right, get on here. <laughs> Just get on here. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's pose a question to everybody. Who do you think is going to be a better basketball player? Let's say basketball player. Mm -hmm. Or Canadians, who's a better hockey player? Someone who's got all the talent, best hockey player ever, you know, fully talented, naturally, yeah. naturally talented, or one that's got mediocre talent, but works harder than the talented one. Who's going to be better at who's the end of that year? You know who I'd say? I'm going to say it is the mediocre player who trains harder. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it a lot. We've seen it with our uh, private training clients. I've seen it with trainers that I've trained. You know, you get people who have that desire, have it in their hearts, and they want to do better. They want to have their dog succeed, or they want to succeed as a trainer, and they work hard. Mm -hmm. Right? They may not have the most talent, but they have enough talent. They, they're good trainers, and they understand things. And they have but, a lot of heart. A lot of heart, but they put in the work. A lot of heart, a lot of discipline. Exactly. So they're training a lot. Now, a good example is um, one of our, just uh, one example is one of our Fine. past clients, yes. just more recent clients. She wasn't a, isn't a trainer wasn't a trainer we understand most of our clients that are coming to us aren't dog trainers and yeah. that is why they're coming to us exactly so imagine yourself if you're not a dog trainer watching this okay so imagine. you're coming in and you have a dog that you love but you are not a dog trainer so this is our client sorry you can continue i just wanted to foreground that a little bit you can continue no anyway so she's decided she's put all her effort into it she's got um you know, she's finally gotten past the point where she can take her dog out now because of the training with us. Mm -hmm. And now she's exceeded what we've advised her to do. She's, her dog is, they're doing tricks now. They're going to be doing sports with their dog because she gets out and she works harder. Every day. Every day. They're getting out with their dog. So yeah, they did a, did a board and train and then they did their go home sessions and they truly followed our go home plan and they implemented everything and they all stuck to it the whole family and they enjoyed it and now like you said they're expanding on their skills so it is doable but again they might not have had the talent off the hop but they had the heart and they had the discipline and the dedication and now they're pumping out some really nice results with their dog yeah and i've seen people who call themselves dog trainers who don't even get the results that they they are getting with their dog and maybe they're a little bit more talented, but maybe they don't really do the work. I don't know. I know. I've seen it. I think sometimes talent can make you complacent. It can. Because you lean on it thinking, hey, I'm ah, I'm, I'm, just good at this. I don't have to I'm work hard. I'm not good. Right? Yeah. I totally understand. And that was like me in, in school. I could get good grades. I didn't have to study. Go write tests. 90s, 90s, 90s. Hit university. And it was like... You gotta study, girl. <laughs> You're not gonna have good grades. So I got complacent because I was good at certain things and didn't practice, didn't learn how to do homework, didn't learn how to study. Yep. And unfortunately I had to learn that in university where it's a lot more difficult. And that was the same with me. You know, I had, I could coast by, uh, get in 70s, 80s uh, without studying, doing anything. Um, if I would have put my mind to it, who knows? Maybe I wouldn't be a dog trainer. Maybe I'd be an astrophysicist or something. There you go. You know, I wouldn't be having as much fun. No, exactly. So, so keep that in mind. Um, work hard and you might not have the natural talent, but if it's something you truly want and you're ready to get on board, then you can definitely hit those goals. Yeah. So give us a call, text us, or uh, yeah, give us some comments below and let's talk about skill versus dedication. Mm -hmm. All right. Like and subscribe. If you did, if you didn't, like and subscribe anyway. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.